If you live in the Memphis or Little Rock regions, you'll see good numbers of both white-crowned and white-throated sparrows in winter. Otherwise, white-throated sparrows tend to predominate in the east, and white-crowned sparrows definitely predominate in the west. Beginning birders, then, are likely to be familiar with one of these sparrows and a bit unsure how to identify the other. This is especially true for these birds during their first fall and winter, when they are quite dull compared to older adults. Welcome! In this video, we'll learn how to identify and separate white-crowned sparrows from white-throated sparrows. Grab your favorite field guide and follow along with me as we identify these look-alike birds. White-crowned and white-throated sparrows are in the genus Zonotrichia. These are larger, longer sparrows with long tails and relatively smaller heads. Both white-crowned and white-throated sparrows have striped heads. The stripes in both species are either black and white or brown and tan. In the west, similar Zonotrichia is golden-crowned sparrow. First winter golden-crowned sparrows lack the black postocular stripe of the white-crowned sparrows. They have a gray bill. Some people are confused by female house sparrows, but house sparrows are squat, short-tailed, and big-headed. They have a broad, pale supercilium, but lack the bold head stripes. Before we get into the details of identifying and separating white-crowned sparrows from white-throated, let's briefly consider their behavior, distribution, and habitat. White-crowned sparrows breed in tundra scrub and broken taiga forest across Canada and Alaska, and also coastal and disturbed forests along the west coast. There is one population of white-crowned sparrows along the central California coast, which is a year-round resident there. Otherwise, all other populations migrate southward in winter. They occur in most of the U.S. and Mexico. White-throated sparrows breed east of the Rocky Mountains and farther south than the white-crowned sparrows. They breed in clearings in conifer and mixed forests across middle and southern Canada and into the Great Lakes and northeast regions. They winter primarily in the east, from the Ohio River Valley to Texas, and in the South Atlantic and Gulf states. A small number of white-throated sparrows regularly winter along the west coast. These often show up at backyard feeders. Pete Dunn, in his Essential Field Guide Companion, called white-throated sparrows the Eastern Woodland Sparrow. He calls the white-crowned sparrow the Dapper Hedge Sparrow. That gives an idea of where you'll find these sparrows in winter. Both are found in flocks in brushy and weedy habitats, and you will sometimes find them together. They feed, hopping on the ground, and flee to cover at the first sign of trouble. But white-throated sparrows prefer more trees. They like dense, brushy woodlands and openings near water. They like hedgerows and lawns and city parks. They sometimes hang with winter flocks of juncos, but stay with their own kind in much of their range. If they find an active backyard feeder, they'll stay all winter. White-crowned sparrows often prefer more weedy areas. They like weedy roadside ditches. They like residential hedges. They are often found in winter flocks with chipping sparrows and lark sparrows. They come to feeders, usually during a quiet time, after the rowdy house sparrows have moved on. Both of these sparrows sing in migration and give whisper songs in winter. Here is a flock noise from white-crowned sparrows. Their song is varied throughout their range. White-crowned sparrows on the west coast sing, See me, silly silly me, cheer chir chir. Alaska birds sing, Wee chir, chilly chilly chir. White crowned sparrows give a metallic pink call. White throated sparrows sing a mournful, Old Sam Peabody, Peabody, or Oh Sweet Canada, Canada. At dawn and dusk, white throated sparrows often call loudly an explosive spink. Listen for this call in your neighborhood after most other birds have gone to roost for the night. 
White crown sparrows are rather sleek and long-tailed compared to other sparrows. The bill is rather dainty. These birds often raise their crown feathers to change their round or flat head to a peaked hind crown. The head pattern of white crown sparrows consists of a white median crown stripe, black lateral crown stripes, and a wide white supercilium. A black line extends back from the eye. Eastern and interior west populations have dark lores between the bill and eye. Northern west and Pacific populations have white lores. Pacific populations are dingy gray-brown below, with dull back streaks of brown and tan. Northern west and eastern populations are brighter. The underparts are clean gray. The back stripes are brown and black on pale gray or white. First winter white crown sparrows of all populations are duller. They replace the black and white head stripes with brown and tan. Pacific birds have yellow bills, eastern birds have pink bills, and northern west birds have orange-pink bills. White-throated sparrows tend to be a bit plumper and shorter tailed than white crown sparrows, but still rather long compared to other sparrows. They usually show a rounded crown. The back color of these sparrows is often striped dark brown and golden brown. The wings tend to show a lot of rufous coloration. There are two color types of white-throated sparrows. The white-striped adult has black and white head stripes. The breast is clean gray. The tan-stripe adult has brown and tan head stripes. The breast is drab, gray, and brown. Each color type includes both genders, and, interestingly, mated pairs of white-throated sparrows are almost always of opposite color types. First winter birds are similar to the tan-striped adults, but streaky on the breast. The upper breast of adult white-throated sparrows is dark gray, contrasting sharply with a white throat. These birds have a yellow supralaural patch above the line from the bill to eye. Finally, white-throated sparrows have a dark gray bill. All right, that was a lot of information. What are the clinching field marks separating white-crowned sparrows from white-throated sparrows regardless of color type or age? Look at the front of the head. White crowned sparrows have yellow, orange, or pink bills. White throated sparrows have gray bills. Both sparrows can have whitish throats, but the bright white throat of white throated sparrow contrasts in a strong line with a dark gray breast. And look for the bright spot of yellow feathers between the eye and bill of white throated sparrows. But if you can't see the face right away, Look for the more golden and rufous tones of white-throated sparrow compared with the plain brown and gray upper parts of white-crowned sparrows. Click on this video separating song sparrows from Lincoln sparrows.